workers. It took so long for America to get to this point. It's better now, a lot better. Well, I came back in 66, so it was real bad then. It was. Seems like we can't thank them enough these days. They'll say, thank you, sir, for your service. For decades, many didn't thank them at all. Good. Mark. Tony Hensley of Fletcher is among the 7.2 million living Vietnam vets. Freeze it all. Oh, say does that star spangled. Like so many others, he got the opposite of a hero's welcome. I had a couple buddies at the airport, and I told them I'd just come back from Vietnam, and they said, oh, really? So what? <laughs> now, many hope the milestone is an overdue opportunity. In honor of the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War. After a half century, Congressman Mark Meadows says it's about time. For far too long, we were silent. For far too long, we didn't say welcome home. When we came back, we were still pretty young, but we had aged a lot. Vietnam vet Cliff Dotson says by reaching out to those who served between 1955 and 1975, we can help keep painful history from repeating itself. I think what most Vietnam veterans want to do now is to make sure that what happened to us does not happen to the young people, the young men and women who are representing us all over the world. It's a far cry from a half century ago when Tony's own friends didn't give him a pat on the back. I'm over here fighting for you and seems like you could care less. The man once scorned, now among those finally celebrated. It seems very nice that they would think about us because back then we wouldn't thought of too much.